Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello, well, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, overnight, the dollar weakened against most currencies and with the Australian dollar taking the benefit from that, rallies through 69.40 and on towards the challenge of 69.85. This is where I call the supply zone. I do expect to see the bears retaliate at this level and expect to see a pullback towards 69.10. All eyes on the RBA at 2.30 today when the market is expecting a rate cut. This would see interest rates fall from 1.5 to 1.25. This being the 33rd month that the market has seen the RBA hold rates at one and a half percent. The real factor is is what the statement implies, because if the RBA is very dovish, then we could see rates down towards one percent or even as low as 0.75, where most of the economists are calling it, especially Westpac, they are calling for free cuts this year. So this would see the Australian dollar take a toll towards a target of around 66 to 65 cents by the end of the year. The dollar index plummeted and this cut saw the euro catch the tailwind to rally to the highs seen now where the stops are starting to accumulate around 112.55.65. If we do see a break beneath the index trading at 97, this would see further <clears throat> advantage for the euro and maybe rally on to 113.25. But like previously, the last two attempts did fail. So I do expect to see this again. Eventually pull back towards 111.85. The dotty end still pressuring this level, 107.85.95. Now a break beneath here will give further exposure to 106.5. Do keep an eye on that. But we are oversold. No trend at this stage from the ADX. Could see a rebound very, very soon, but safe haven demand is very much on the cards at the moment, especially after Trump put 5% um, tariffs on Mexico because of the immigration situation, which also saw gold rally, which we'll get to in a sec. Now, I've been going on about the divergence seen on, the, on sterling, and it's still there. I still expect to see this market break higher and head further beyond 126.70 and up towards 127.60 to 128. Technically, it does favour this move. Such an impressive rally, the market reaches its objective of 1,324. At present, I'd rather sit, at, sit on my hands for the moment and see how we play from here. It is likely that we could see the market pause and pull back a little. If not, and we're still above 24 by tomorrow, then we could be looking up towards 1,336, with 1,350 above. Wrapping up with all, the market is respecting the level of $52 a barrel. At present, I do expect to see further pressure on this level, but we do know there is a little bit of divergence here, and also the fact we are oversold. So therefore, we could see a bounce from 52, but we need to see that today. If not, further pressure will be seen on the downside. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoy this great start to the new day.